You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. The only reason we are doing this is to ensure that a woman that has oracle does not emerge the queen of his Yuyanato kingdom. This is the sacred water that I personally fetched from the stream of her palata. At that dreaded time of the night that is called Ime Odinabo. By drinking from this water, I attest that I do not have any oracle. And may oracle kill me if I am hiding any. Repeat what I just did now and prove to us that you do not have Oracle that will ultimately cripple Isu Yenato Kingdom if we allow you become the queen. Do not say that you were not guided if you have any known evil and you still go ahead to drink from this water, you will die here and your remains will be buried without any funeral. I do not have any evil in me. I told you. She's clean. <laughs> May the gods bless your union. He <laughs> said. Your Majesty, may I please have some rest in your chambers? By all means. Still, I am not convinced. How do you mean? There is something sinister about this lady that we cannot see. I feel so too. But if the water of her palate has given her the green light that she would become the queen of his Yuyanato kingdom. So, what next? Everything is in the hands of the king. As soon as he gives the go-ahead order, I will start the planning of the traditional marriage. Those who claim they know this one cannot boast that they know the other one. <laughs> the king is mine and mine he shall be. 
It's a foolish man that thinks he's wiser than the gods. It's young and not oh yeah, yo. I don't never see no good than you. Don't draw a better go for the What is it? Who is pushing you? He said that's a problem. What happened? Very big problem. What is the problem? Just no, Nana is dead. Uh, 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 please, please, please. If you don't want to go, if this is a joke, kindly stop it, please. It is not a joke. How can I joke with a thing like that? Nana is dead. Who told you that? Nobody told me. I saw the dead body of Nana by the roadside. That means somebody must have killed him. So who killed him? Who killed him? I don't know. I don't know. It is an obvious problem. This is a very big problem. Hey. What kind of a thing is this? What is going on? What is going on? You look beautiful. If you are, thank you. Nice work. I'm glad you like my profile. This is nice. This is why I always call on you. You know, thank you're good. Thank you. Give her a mirror. Let her see herself. Give her the mirror. <laughs> what is it? No, no, no. What is it? Angoli, we have a deal. You remember, right? Do you remember our deal? Yeah. Yes, my princess. Good. And please don't clean that makeup, okay? Uh -huh. I won't, my princess. Um, if Naya, you have to yes, take her inside, dress her up, wear her the wig. You remember the wig we were talking about? Yeah. Yes, the, the other one, the straight one, then yeah. the style we picked. And make sure she's looking good, okay? No, Just so do your job. Don't let her clean any of those things on her face, please. And will you don't clean that makeup? Yes, hello, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, all is not well. I need 1.5 million naira to sort some things out, Your Majesty. Wow, really? You'd give me two million naira? Oh, that's so nice of you, Your Majesty. Thank you. I'll smile. I'll keep smiling for you, Your Majesty, I promise. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Just, just stand, okay? <sighs> Let me see. Angeli, you look beautiful. I mean, you look amazing. <laughs> Thank you, my princess. Gosh! I did not know. Let me, let me take a look. Let me take a look. Let me, let me have your hand. Let me have your hand. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah! Okay, don't worry. Don't just stand. Just stand. Well, like I was saying, Amelie, 
You look beautiful. <laughs> you Thank look you. amazing. Like I have never thought you had this beauty in you. I mean, who would have thought? <laughs> this is beautiful. You know what they say? Money makes all women beautiful. No, not just women. Money makes everything beautiful. I mean, take a good look at you. <laughs> oh, I'm going to leave this, this, this. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> I am so happy with the work we've done with you. Okay, but well we still have work to do. Hi. My princess. What again? We need to work on your step. Angeli, you don't know how to walk and you don't know how to stand. You are a lady. You're supposed to stand like this. With your chest out and your head held high. And then you need to learn how to stand and walk on heels, my darling. So, but mm, not to worry. I'll get someone to do that, okay? Okay. But for now... Mm. I like what I see. Thank you. This is beautiful. You know what? Just remove the shoe. You can stand on your feet. Like, um... I should remove the shoe. Yes, just, just stand on your leg. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hey! Oh! Better. Hi! That is it. Oh. Women don't boss you wanna be a one to buy a metal and see a weapon. Nothing is hidden under the sun. Hey, but this man just passed us at the village square now. Hey, this dead is not ordinary. Kai, Kai. it was each other today. Hey. Hey. Oh, we? Hey, we need to inform the king about this. The king have to hear this thing now. Immediately. This is not ordinary. Hey! He needs to hear this thing. Uh -uh. Maybe, who knows the next? Maybe, maybe, not... maybe you are the next. You are stupid, you are one. Are you not supposed to die this morning? You are just crazy. Uh -uh. Hey! I am actually eager to hear what you have decided. How, sir? I never told you I was going to get back to you. I gave you my response that same day. The response you have given to me is not mine. I am serious that I want you to be my wife. And you shouldn't be turning me down. Jetty, I have to be honest with you. I can't marry you. Why? Why? That's because I don't want to ruin my relationship with my friend. But I thought we've already talked about this before. Yes, we talked about it. But I can't, I, I, I can't do anything about it. IJ, please don't do this to me. Please. I, I, I don't know what you want. What if I'm in a serious relationship? Or are you doing this to get back at my friend? No. You possess all the qualities I need in a woman. And that is why I want you to be my wife. Please. That's not going to be possible. I... I... I, I can't. How else am I going to make her to understand me? IJ! IJ! Good afternoon, sir. Oh, afternoon, my friend. Please, what can we offer you? Anything stopped. I'm okay with it. Um, I just spoke to the princess. She's on her way back to the palace. Uh, did you mention of me being around? No, sir. So, uh, if I did, she won't be back until you leave, sir. So oh, that's why I didn't. Oh, thank you so much, my guy. You are right. Um, so, what's that your name again? My name is Andy, sir. Andy? Yes, sir. Correct guy. We'll meet later, okay? Okay, thank you, sir. 
Uh, by the way, sir, has anybody offered you anything to eat or drink? Uh, yes. There is a maiden that approached me and I, she asked me what I want and I told her anything soft. So I'm okay with that. Okay, sir. Uh, she'll be back in no time, sir. Thank you so much. Have a, have a nice day. Yeah. We'll talk later, okay? Thank you, sir. Yeah. Young man, I do not have the leisure of time. Get straight to the point. What is going on? Evil has visited our land, Your Majesty. Oh, yes, sir. Our people are dying one by one in this community. All right, young man, calm down. Calm down, all right? What exactly is going on? Two days ago, Iche Nana was seen lying dead along the roadside. Iche Nana dead? Yes, Your Majesty. It was like the killer killed him somewhere, then brought his remains to the road so that people will see it. On our way here, we found Iche Arakwe's body by the track road. What exactly is going on? Why is it that their family members are not talking about it? Why are the people of this community not talking about it? Are the both of you sure of what you're talking about? Very, very sure, Your Majesty. <sighs> it's fine. I'm going to have to verify this. Okay? Uh, please, on your way, I need you to go to Rudike's house and tell him that I need to see him immediately. What are you doing here? I came to see you. I don't want to see you. Uh, Princess, I know you are hot. And I am here to make amends. Hot? Yes. Now? No. As you can see, Ken, I have healed. I am no longer hot. I have moved on. So I would suggest you do the same. Hmm? Princess, there is no moving on without you. If you think you can get me back with that lying tongue of yours, then you are a bigger fool than I thought. My dear, I have realized my mistakes, and that is why I'm here to make amends. Please, hear me out. For how long? How long has he been Ken? You got me pregnant and asked me to abort it. Then I refused. And before my parents, you denied me. Made me look like a slut that had been sleeping with every man in this kingdom. After putting me through that shame, you had a God to show up here and tell me you are sorry. Uh, please. I'm sorry. Ken, sorry cannot fix this. Sorry is not enough. I'm begging. I am sorry. Please. Ken, if it is a show you came here to put up, then I am sorry to disappoint you. As you can see, you've got no audience. So please, just stop this drama, get up and leave. I am sorry. 
and I'm not going to leave this place until you tell me you have you have forgiven me. You will not leave here until I forgive you. Yes. Then get ready to kneel down here forever. Princess. My love. She is still angry with me. Shike Rafa, the man escaped. What do you mean escaped? Before getting to the park, we couldn't find him. Did you check these fences, bro? How do you expect that old man to climb that fence with barbed wire? Kai, this is an old man now. Nah. He must have run into this house or something. Baba, search this man. Bro, the house is locked. How did this man escape? Bro, I don't know. Is it no, no? You can run. You can run, but you can't hide from us. Tomorrow <laughs> is another day. <laughs> okay. said, no, no. We go fuck you up. Wait for us, now. Nah. Let's go. Princess, being in this mood wouldn't solve anything. He is a changed man. You don't know Ken. Princess, I know him. Remember, you told me a lot about him. Trust me, Andy, you don't know a bit about Ken. My princess, the man said he has changed. Why don't you give him the benefit of the doubt and try to and believe him? Ken can never change. My princess, the bottom line is you need to mend fences with him. Remember, little queen will start asking for the father. What do you intend to tell her? I will tell her her father is dead. No, my princess, no. What if she finds out in the future? How do you think that will make her feel? How? I don't think she would like that idea. It's okay, my princess. I, I know this isn't her decision to make. But remember, you need to make a good decision for your daughter. All this would actually benefit her if you get a good decision for her. Okay, my princess. Indeed, you can go now. Thank you, my princess.
Your Majesty. I do not understand your question, Your Majesty. There is nothing complex about my question. I've only asked a simple question. What do you know about the death of these men? Let me get it, Your Majesty. Are you in any way insinuating that I have a hand in their death? I've not said anything. Unless, of course, you have something to tell me. Your Majesty, I don't have anything to tell you. I don't know anything about their deaths. I was even shocked to hear that they are dead. A wave here, Rudike. I intend to involve the police in this. If there is anything that you know, talk to me now. So that I know how to deal with this. Your Majesty, murder is the highest crime in Igbo land. And it disconnects the murderer from the spirit of our ancestors. A man like me, that stands before deities on a daily basis, will never even think of taking a life. Not to think of doing it. You know it, Your Majesty. So I should go ahead and involve the police. Your Majesty, if that is what your spirit tells you, then go ahead. General, General, Black Diamond, Black Diamond. <laughs> so I guess it's my turn to wait for you guys today. No wait, no more. Eh, no more. Black Diamond. What thing bring you come our cabal? Your balance. Get our balance, go. Why are why are us? Why are why are us? Why are why are You got it, Kato. General Black Diamond. Your account number. What can you call them now? 3070. Hold on. How are you going to do it? <laughs> money talks, money talks. Yeah. 3070 72 98 19. I'll check now. You won't miss to call this thing again. 98 98 million last one. 500,000 are sent to your account. You sure? Hey! Correct! Correct, calm down, calm down. mama! Yeah, I know the shout too. Ma check, we don't even see a lot. This is the no collect charges. Mama the mama! So when is Iche is in Nunu going down? Oh the worry. By this time, by this time next weekend, we don't come out that mouth for this piece of this earth. I'd really appreciate it if you guys hasten on that. Forget, mama. She you de 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 I went to your house to look for you, but I did not see you. In fact, when I got there, only you gave me That's the truth. And what exactly did you come to do in my house? You declared war on my friends and I. And now, Nana and Dorakwe are dead. The king told me. What happened to them? What killed them? Don't even pretend you don't know what happened to them. I do not know what happened to them. Maybe you should tell me. Ha! You killed my friends. And you know that I know that you killed my friends. 
and you will not escape me. As said, no, no. Yes. Fighting me will mean fighting the wrong person. I do not have any reason to kill your friends. You kill my friend, you bloody liar. You kill my friends and you will not listen. I will pursue you to the very ends of the earth until I urinate on your dead body. The thing that killed your friends will kill you if you do not open your eyes and look for whatever killed them. <laughs> I do not need to look elsewhere because the evil man that killed my friends is standing right here and before whatever me. is making you think that I killed your friends. <laughs> no, what, 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 what makes you think so? You have an antagonistic against us. All this while, you have burned. Ah, but I did not think you would go this far. But because you have gone this far, you will pay with your life. Yes. For the record, uh -huh. I did not kill your friends. Mm. I don't have any reason to do so. But if it is war that you want, I promise you I will give you a double fold of it. I just declared war against you. And you will not escape me. Because I will urinate on your dead body. You will not escape your lie. You can't do nothing. Nothing. You can't do nothing. On my way home. Where exactly are you? I'm very close to the village square. Wait for me there. I'll meet you up now. Uh, okay, I will be waiting for you there. This man is a spirit. I think this bastard knows you are following him. This bastard knows you are following him. Ah, oh, God. It's long to 10 seconds we got here. Where did he dive to? SM Nuna. SM Nuna has been playing smart, Abi. This bastard has been playing smart, Abi. SM <laughs> Okay. You think you are smarter than us? You think that you are smarter than us? We'll get you. Let's go, bro.
my princess. Uh, I am believing God for a miracle. What do you mean by that? Uh, let it be that God has answered my prayers by touching your heart for you to give me a second chance in your life. Ken, what exactly do you want? I want to marry you. After almost six years of not seeing you, then you pop up from nowhere to tell me you want to marry me. Do, do you think this is how things are done? Yeah. My princess, like I said in the palace, I have realized my mistakes. That's why I'm here to make amends. Or rather, you're here because of my daughter. No, 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 no. Far from that. Then what? What exactly do you want, Ken? Princess, I just told you that I want to marry you. Why? Because I love you. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you too. I love you so much, Ken. But you broke my heart. You broke my heart. Princess, I am really sorry for my actions. I did what I did out of ignorance. And I can assure you here that it will not happen again. I'm sorry. Killers have invaded our community. They have killed two people already. Uh, we already have a bag at your majesty. And uh, we're wondering when precisely did this killing start? Today, we got into that the third person has just been killed. Your Majesty, does anyone have an idea on how they were killed? We have nothing. Two bodies were found at two separate locations, and that is why I have invited the both of you. I need you two to investigate. I need the both of you to unmask the face of this case. We are already on it, Your Majesty. Exactly, Your Majesty. My men has been able to gather useful information from some members of the community and I hopefully will get back to you as soon as possible. Human life is sacred. The lives of the people of our community is sacred. And anyone who takes the life of another must not be tolerated. Your Majesty, we promise to do our job to the very best of our ability. If you need anything, let me know. Hmm? Yes, Your Majesty. If you need anything, come to me. If anyone stands in your way as a stumbling block or a huddle too high to scale, come to me. We must unmask the face of these killers. Huh? We do as instructed, Your Majesty. And um, thanks again for reposing confidence in us. We do exactly that when the need arises. Thank you. Walk. Thank you, Your Majesty. Nothing is hidden under the sun. Oh, Kwanaka, wow, wow. 
Anyana gawa wana fokwa There is a wage for every sinner Ogwa me ebokwa wana The wage is a sinner Chai omenja wepwa ke wana ve You are doing exceptionally good. What a transformation. It's been hard work all through. Oh. I mean, I was so determined. I must work well exactly. to impress you. You know what is working for you, Angelica? The zeal, the spirit, the resilience. And I like that. Your hard work is beginning to pay. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I am so happy. I'm happy I'm too. So proud of you. Oh, my dear friend, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Good afternoon, Ichi. Hi, uh, love. How are you? I'm fine. I was actually on my way to your place. Uh, any problem? It's not really a problem. Uh, so, what is it? What is it? Um, actually. The tax you and your friends gave me to carry out concerning the king, mm -hmm. I don't think I'll be able to do it anymore. Uh, that is not going to be a problem. Huh? Is there another thing we are supposed to discuss? No. Okay, so bye bye. Uh, but... uh -uh. What's wrong with this man? Why is he acting confused? Why is he acting like someone is after him? Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Look at him. Your, your Majesty. He's one of the evil men, huh? Yes, Your Majesty. He is actually one of them. His uh, colleague who tried to escape during the arrest was shot and is now presently in police custody. So we managed to bring this <laughs> idiot. Your Majesty. Well, shut up or ask you to speak. Shut up. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Please forgive me. I didn't admit I swear I didn't admit so, so someone paid me to What? I didn't Someone paid you? Your Majesty, please. Your Majesty. My orders in council. You took the lives of innocent men. Your Majesty. I'm sorry. Somebody paid, paid us to kill. I changed my life and I'm happy. I did me to. Your Majesty, she is the one. My friend, get off your knees. Your Majesty, she, 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 do you know her? She she paid us to kill each other and all that way. You want us to know? You know the language. Neil O'Brien. Neil O'Brien. That is my wife to me. <laughs> In a few market days, she will be the next queen of you. So you know at all. I ask you again. Do you know her? Talk, lad. Talk. I have evidence. Do you know the enormity of what you have just said? Your Majesty, I can provide evidence. Believe me, Your Majesty. Please, please, Your Majesty. Talk, lad. Say something. Do you know this young man? Your Majesty, please, I 
Oh my God. It's not what you think. Why does your countenance betray you? What have you done? Your Majesty. Talk to me, Obiakeli. What have you done? I did what I did because Ichi is the known and his friends. They wanted to control you through me in the process that you married me. To, I had to avoid it, so I set plans to take them out. You set plans to kill Obekeli. You took the lives of innocent men. How could you? Your Majesty, believe me, I did it for your own good. I know what I think. And what I think is that you have always carried evil inside of you. Hidden. A very dark place in your heart. But today that evil comes to light. Your Majesty, please. Your Majesty, please. How can you be so evil yet you want to be the next queen of Isionato? Is that even possible? Oh. Your Majesty, please. Vigilante. I'm here, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, please. Even the so called Iche Eze Nunu needs to be arrested. You have my permission to search the entire village. Find him and have him arrested. Yes, Your Majesty. Majesty, please. Move it. Your Majesty. She paid, she paid Move. us. Your Majesty. Move. Your Majesty. Move it. It has been proven that he cheers and not all. Has a hand in what happened to those men. And I did not hesitate at all to involve the police. Just before you walked in, the police called to say that they have been arrested. Your Majesty, I am aware of the arrest. I'm wondering why I got summoned. Mm -hmm. Oh, am I going to be arrested? <laughs> Irudike, <laughs> stop it. You have been summoned here by me because you have always been right and I have always been wrong. Oh. Yes. Your Majesty, uh, honestly, I am glad that Everything is playing out this way. You know, you've started seeing me as an enemy. And I know that there was nothing I could do to make you feel differently. Um, Obuefi, I have never seen you as an enemy. Not for once have you betrayed me. You were only stepping beyond your boundaries, and I needed to remind you that I am king. And that is exactly what I did. I never said you're no longer the king. And I don't have any reason whatsoever to look at you in that light. Away from you, Rudike. I summoned you here because I want you and I to discuss the future of Isio Nyanato. It is clear that all the maidens that I have chosen 
to take the position of the queen of Isio Yonato have all proven not to be fit for that position. I have always trusted you. And that is why I have decided to give you the task of finding me a wife. Find me someone who would love to be queen of this great kingdom. Find me someone who would be loyal to the royal family. Find me someone who would not drag our name through the mud. You are the king. And now you have given me a task that I had never handled before. What am I going to do? <laughs> oh, ye man of little faith. <laughs> I don't know how you are going to do it, but I am confident that you are going to do it. I know that you, Obwefi, Irudike, of Isio Yanato, we do a good job. Well, Your Majesty, let's see how it goes. The willingness to at least to try means a lot to me. Thank you, Your Majesty. I never wanted this discussion to take place in the palace. That is why I invited you here. I don't have an issue with that. Then I'll go straight to the point. Fine. The king, your brother, has shifted the responsibility of getting a good wife for him to me. As you already know, I am not good with women. And so, I will not be able to deliver on this mandate. I've invited you here to shift the same responsibility to you. Oh yes, please, would you be able to get a good girl that will make a good wife to the king? Sure, Obuefi, I can. I can do that. Uh, I am very serious here. Are you sure you can do it? Very sure, Obuefi. Definitely. I, I have never been sure of anything as I am of this. Oh, then go ahead and do it. I will make the presentation and it will be settled. Thank you very much, Obuefi for finding me worthy to do this. And I promise I will not disappoint neither you nor my brother. Um, Princess. Yes, Ogwefi. I am glad you're excited about this. I am. I am certainly very excited about this. <laughs> um, uh, that aside, Ogwefi, I want to seize this opportunity to say I am sorry. I am sorry for the way I have spoken to you in the time past. I misunderstood you. I thought you were a very bad man, not knowing you were actually the best amongst us. And I promise, going forward, I will respect you and everything you stand for. I am sorry. Princess is okay. There is no challenge. The only problem is that, based on the orientation made popular by the warrant teachers of the colonial masters, our tradition totally has been painted evil. Even some of our filmmakers in their ignorance is even making it popular the more but not to worry we are correcting all of that because our tradition is our only way to connect to god the supreme deity of the cosmos oh wifi sorry i will have to cut you there because you're getting me confused the more <laughs> it's all right um so when are you bringing the girl um tomorrow so fast? That's how fast I can walk. 
And this particular task is special to me. In that case, I would be at the palace to introduce her to the king. Fine. She will be ready. Thank you very much once again for handing over this task to me. You're welcome. I will not disappoint you. I have to take my leave now so I can jump on it. Permission granted. Thank you. And please say me well to your family. Of course I will. Ah. Oh! <laughs> oh Greetings, Your Majesty. Uh -huh. Oh, you Rudike. <laughs> uh, my right hand man. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, mm. I'm very excited. Oh, you are? I see it. <laughs> Please. Um, Your Majesty, yes. let me go straight to the point. You sent me on errand, and I am back with the good news. Oh, let me hear it. Oh! <laughs> Your Majesty, here comes the maiden that will make a good wife to you and furthermore become the queen of this great kingdom. That is if you will permit it. Oh, and if I am to go by what the eyes can see, I would say that she's beautiful. Oh, yes, she is. <laughs> what do you say, my sister? Um... I stand with Obuefi Rudike on this one. Oh, yes. She's a beautiful girl. She's a good girl. And she will make a good queen to the people of Isunyanato. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Rudike. Your Majesty. You have not told me the name of this beautiful maiden. You oh, have that reminds me. Please forgive my manners. Can you please introduce yourself? Tell your majesty your name. My name is Angolika, daughter of Mazin Nochiri. Mazin Nochiri? Yes. The hunter? Huh? She's the same girl. The one you rejected. Now you have accepted her because she has brought out the inner beauty in her. My reason was always beyond beauty. Brother, please, let's not argue. No argument. <laughs> ah, the good thing is, she's here. You like her. It's a yes. Everybody is happy. Um, Anoli. Yes. You are welcome to our family. Thank you. Um, if you permit me, I would show you around the palace. Not before I have you. Right in the palm of my hands. <laughs> I must say that you are the seventh wonder of the world. An excellent beauty indeed. Thank you. <laughs> eh? Your Majesty. For bringing her where she belongs. Those who tried to impose another have failed. And you are here because you are destined to be here. Welcome, my darling, to where you belong. The next queen of Isionato. Them know the girl so wise, oh, hey, oh. Woman in the key from man to take over the kingdom. It's a foolish man that thinks he's wiser than the gods. He's young and not oh, hey, oh. I don't never see no good than you are. Don't draw a pataco, but oh. The hearts of many 
is full of greed and wickedness All is plotting for evil hey. But the sin that men do Must surely live with them I and I watch it and I sin hey. They are evil men So wise, yo. Hey, yo. Evil men in the kingdom. Evil men to take over the kingdom. It's a foolish man that thinks he's wiser than the gods. He's young and I thought, hey, yo. I don't have mercy, no, but I need.